head to Dollar Tree and pick up two paper towel holders, guide the centerpiece of the towel holder through the floral foam, begin adding florals to the base, stack the second paper towel holder directly on top and add more florals to it to cover the foam entirely. Take a strand of gems and attach to the top of the stacked paper towel holders, attach it to the top of the paper towel holder base. There you have it, a cheap way to create your own easy holiday decoration for your home. First, we're gonna start with this nine foot flocked garland. And we're gonna use some of this silver bay leaf and just work them right into the garland. Now we're gonna work in some shatterproof ornaments and we can start hot gluing these in place too. We'll just do one loop with a set of tails and I'm just gonna take that little pipe cleaner and wrap it around and it just adds a nice little touch of ribbon. And look at how pretty this looks. Take any glass vase or jar container that you have and layer the bottom with a couple of inches of greenery. Angle the ends of the greenery toward the outside of the glass. Next, grab your box of plastic wrap and start crumpling it into a bunch. But I did try to shape it into a sort of level disc. The third layer consists of fresh cranberries. Take a pitcher of water and pour over the top of all the layers. You can add a tea light to the top of the layers. This is a perfect holiday display centerpiece for anywhere in your home. And for this, we're gonna use a hula hoop, but I do want some larger bricks to hold my hoop in place. Figure out the placement of our trees. I usually like to start with my greenery first. Some moss on top of your green floral foam. But I'm gonna be using cream, solo wood flowers in various different styles add this little touch of red. Oh my gosh, how pretty did this turn out? Gather some oranges out of the refrigerator. We're first going to cut some short pieces of rosemary. Now we're going to place longer pieces of rosemary all around the bottom part of the tree. It's time to add our little cuties. And I'm putting the pointy end into the tree. Place about 12 to 15 little cuties inside the vase. I then am going to fill the vase with water. I always start with a base of greenery. Lastly, we're going to add our flowers. For our last project, I took oranges and dried them in a dehydrator. I'm just going to use a hot glue gun, glue the cinnamon stick to the middle of the dried grapefruit slice, add a piece of rosemary. I then take a wire, put it through the rind of the citrus and twist it. Now it's time to attach these to the wreath. And there you have three great projects you can create out of fresh citrus. Run to the dollar store and grab one of these hanging planters or hanging terrarium. Now you're going to go and fill your terrarium with some sand. And now let's go and place the people along with also some of the miniatures. But I think this arrangement is really cute and I do want a wintry look to it. Take some of these white stones that you can also go and purchase at the dollar store. Then I am going to take some of the fake snow and make it look like it's almost snowing there. And now I'm going to go and mix up some Elmer's glue, along with also a very small amount of watered down dish soap. To dye this, I'm going to use a little bit of mica powder. Then I'm going to go and mix this up, go and put some air back into the mixture. Use a spoon to put a small amount over some of the white rocks. And then use my heat gun on a very low setting to go and dry this slightly so I can keep some of those bubbles in there. I'm going to go and add a couple of these small little tiny white rocks to here. And after it's dry, your diorama can look like this. You want to open the tea light package and remove your tea lights. Pull gently on the wick. Place as many tea lights as you think you need in the saucepan and bring the water to a boil. Pour enough wax on the parchment paper to surround your cookie cutter and then set your cookie cutter on the wax and press down. Fill in the cookie cutters almost to the very top. Now the wicks on the Dollar Tree tea lights are really short, so I waited to add them to the top layer of the wax. I added the faux snow to the melted wax and poured that onto the very top layer. You can pop off the excess wax, place my cookie cutters on a Pyrex pie plate. I took a length of garland and made it into a, a wreath shape and set it inside the tray. What a pretty little display. Let me show you how I turned a couple glass bowls into these Pottery Barn dupes. Put one coat of spray paint and primer on the bowls. With the rub and buff, I was able to put on one layer and achieve the aged look that I wanted. Turn it over and then paint the bottom the other side of your bowls. I cut the ring off the pacifier and snapped a small piece of the shower curtain ring off and glued them. Here I used wax cubes, melted them down, and then you pour that into the bowl. For your wicks, you can get a kit off of Amazon and use the popsicle sticks with the hole to help make sure that your wicks stand up straight. And there you have it. Light, 
and enjoy. We're going to start with a base from Dollar Tree. Go ahead and cover this entire thing with this frosted glass spray paint. We are going to be using a pail and we are going to be hot gluing this on top. So now we're going to start with some ribbon. Now you want to make sure that you get the hot glue all the way around and then slowly secure the ribbon. And I've come down to using two of these leaves and then I'm probably going to be use some of the decorative berries. And once I've poured the whole bag of the rocks into the vase, detach the solar light top from the base. And we are going to be placing this in the center of the vase. It's a beautiful, cute, decorative solar lantern that I'm really excited is living out on my screened in porch now. Thank you. 